Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. How y'all doing? Silver here playing some more Farming Simulator 17. Start off our day as we do most days. Picking up some eggs. See if we can reach our goal. Ah, like we were saying a couple episodes ago, I don't know when we're going to sell them. I want a lot. I want to I want to go and sell. I mean, they don't burden us in no way. They just sit around. It's not a problem. So maybe a thousand, maybe ten thousand, maybe I don't know, five thousand. We'll see. We'll do this for a while and then we'll see what's up. So last episode, we got a new tractor, our new wagon. Why is that down right there? And let's see if we can pick that up. Okay. And it's doing pretty good over here. It's a lot bigger than what we had, obviously. That's pretty much the point now what's holding us back oh and you know what last episode I told you guys I was gonna go out on my own and, and cut the grass it took about it took less than five minutes to fill that thing up no time at all what we need now is a bigger water tank but I don't think there is one in the game so what I want to do guys is I'm looking at one of these water water tower so I'm thinking if we put a water tower like right there, that'd be perfect. Let me put it like right there. Can we turn it? I want to turn it. Can I put it like right here? Can I just put it? I'd love to have it like right there. But I was thinking maybe like right here-ish. Maybe like right here. I think I like this one more. Sort of like that. Is there anywhere else good that I could put this thing? I think right here is the best spot. I mean, we just roll up, load it, or refill, and then unload it. How about that? How about that right there? How does that look? Now, we should be able to just roll over here. I wonder if we can just leave it there. Can we refill right there? Oh, snap. Can we unload here too? Watch, this is gonna be awesome if we can do both. Let's fill it up. I think we can unload right here, guys. That way we won't have to move this thing. Actually, we're gonna have to move it eventually when we have to do the grass, but unload. Look at that. We're in one spot. What happened? What happened? Okay, we're good. And now we can refill. Oh man, this is awesome. This is what I kind of wanted. I wanted to set it up as close as possible. That way maybe the distance from that corner to this guy's fill uh, range could work out. And now we can fill and unload the water pretty well. The other thing I'm wondering is, if I come in through this side, I can drive through. Can I drive through here? No, maybe. Yes. I think we we should be able to drive through here. Oh, there's a big rock here. I don't know if we can do that no more. I was thinking we could come over here, cut our grass, and then this is close. But we might be able to make it come right through here and drive and park. That way we don't have to move that guy no more. Just leave him right there. But if we can't, it won't take very much. We'll just back him up. Get him out of the way and we'll drive our truck through. So this is awesome. This is great. I like this. We can unload right there. We can refill right there. Same spot. Would like my... Uh, tractor a little bit straighter make it look a little bit better how about right there can I unload right there and can I refill awesome I like that it looks good looks good right there you guys happy I hope you guys are happy we're up to 110 sheep guys our wool production is coming up like crazy we've got See, it's coming back. See, we've got all this filled up now. We've started to put it over here now. So what we need is we need a trailer, and we need to get rid of this guy too. 
I just don't like it anymore. I need to get rid of it. Get some more stuff. But we've got our water tanks, which is the most important thing of the day. That right there was one point that was holding us up, guys. Awesome. My sheep are happy. They've got food. They've got tons of water now. Wish we could have a grass thing like that. Set up a little thing down there and just chunk the grass right in. That'd be great. But anyways. Let's leave that there. Here's my tractor that's not doing nothing. You might, might have to get rid of you pretty soon. Need to move... Need to move my harvester over to the what is it 15? Actually, no, not 15. We need to move them over to 24. Look at this thing, it's still going. I don't know what the deal is with that, but it's been going for a really long time. I don't know if we made the right decision on that, I don't really know. But we tried it out and it's doing something, it's working over there so. We still haven't got rid of all the wood we have underneath that uh, uh, deck over there, but it's okay. I need to move this guy over to 24. Move him over, get him started, get him working. 24 has been working out pretty good for us. It's close by. Been thinking about buying this field here too. It's kind of small. There's that thing again. It gives me a message. It makes me stop. I wonder if there's a way I can stop that. You know, I should look into that. There might be a way to stop the messages from coming up like that. It's not like I ever use them for nothing. Oh, there goes the sign. Took out the sign. A couple episodes ago, I talked to you guys about... Let's see. Let's get him started right there. Those trees down there. That tree line right there next to the road. On this side of the road. We need to get rid of that because go ahead let's get started buddy don't stop what you're doing go ahead and keep going there he goes on this side of the road those trees get in the way of my machines working not not every machine has a problem but some of them do the harvester kind of stops and leaves a leaves a row of of fruit there my cultivator runs into it you know and uh, my sewing machine runs into it too. And I have to come over, move it, and all that good stuff. I need to cut those trees down. We gotta do that eventually. Let's take this guy over to our silos. Let's get him unloaded. Everything's working on the farm pretty well right now. This wood chipper thing, I'm still not sure how that works out. We need to get our cultivator going on 12. We've been putting stuff in our silos. We're going to have to get silos pretty soon. We keep loading them up. And uh, I don't know how much room's in there right now. Alright. Let's go ahead and unload that guy. Get our cultivator set up over here. Actually, yeah, we're going to set him up on the other side. It's a little bit easier for me to do on the other side. This tractor's not easy to drive. I'm learning. It's getting better. I'm getting better at it. Still not great at it. Once we get it right about here, we'll go ahead and unfold this guy out. And come around right around here. Something like that. Oh, look at that. That was terrible. You guys saw that? Oh, man. I said I was getting better at it, but I don't know. Maybe not. It is not easy to drive this guy, I'll tell you what. I've seen a few videos of these uh, people driving these things, and they do they do an awesome jo job driving these things, but I can't do it. Can't even do it. Here, that's how it is right about there. Back him up just a little bit. Hire this guy. He'll straighten it out for you. Good to go. He's cultivating it up. So machine. Look at this guy. He's still going. I don't know what the deal is. And the worst thing about it is, I can't see what kind of fill level this thing has. There's, as far as I know, there's not a way for me to look and see how much stuff is actually in there. So, bummer. 
grass. Grass is still good. What I've been doing, every once in a while I'll come over here, I'll drop that thing off there. I will start the machine and I'll come over and I'll roll here up and down, you know, cleaning this little area up. That way they're we keep them happy. This thing is a little bit closer now. But we'll do this, we'll come through, we'll clean it up, you see that? And we'll drop them off right there. And it brings up our cleanliness. So I've been doing that every once in a while. Here's our water. And we're, we're good on water and we're good on hay. Our wool is coming along. I'm really happy about that tower, guys. Look at that thing. The water, water tower. That's what I wanted to accomplish today. We needed a way to get water over here quickly. I like it. Next thing on the list... Next thing on the list, guys, we have my tractor over here, my 1455. We're going to make a trip over to the shop, guys. We're going to be picking something up today. Which way is the shop? This way is the shop. We're going to be picking something up today, guys. See if we can get through these uh, Rocky Mountains right here. Oh, come on. You got it. You got it, dude. You got it. Don't get stuck. What did I say? Don't get stuck. That's the first thing you did. Come on. Got it. Got it. Awesome. Nailed it. You see down there, property income 36875 guys. That's higher than it usually was. We were only making about 35000 So I'm wondering if animal upkeep, 2240 bucks. I'm wondering if that uh, wood chipper and the heat producing machine thingamajigger over there, I'm wondering if that's adding to our, our income. That's what I'm wondering. We were only around, I think we were around 35,400, something like that. But we weren't in the 36, I'll tell you that. We were not in the 36,000 range. So I think it is making us a little bit of money. I still haven't found it in the menu. I know it's in there somewhere. So I think it's making us a little bit of money, so it's good. I'm pretty sure it's working out. Let's come down here to the shop. We're going to be picking something up today, guys. We're going to be picking up one of these. $10 a day, $30 a day. I wonder what the difference is, guys. So this one looks a little bit bigger than this one. Obviously, um, that back section right there is over the wheels, and we don't have that over here. I think we're going to go for one of these. What you guys think? buy one the only bad thing is we're not going to color match are we look at this thing this thing's huge take a look at it look at that guy how many wheels you got back here 12 wheels in the back nice so we should be got shackles we do have shackles so this is supposed to be a car loader Kind of looks kind of funny. I wonder if this folds. I think it folds. We'll see in a minute. But this is where we're going to put our pallets. This is the best option I saw in the menu. I don't know if we can put some up here. But I think we can fill quite a few. Let's hook this thing up. Let's see how it's going to work out for us right here. Wait a minute. Are we even able to hook this thing up? No. Of course not. I don't have a gooseneck. So do I have to buy? I think I have to buy a... So this... Yeah, they're both... Okay. They're both goosenecks. So the, am I going to have to buy a whole thing? Will this work? A dolly serves as the link between a... Okay, and a tractor. Go ahead and get one of these. What can I add to it? No, I don't want none of that. 
This is gonna make the driving of it a lot harder, I think. It's gonna articulate in two places now. Alright, here we go. Let's hook this up. We've got that one. Let's take a look at this thing real quick. So, tractor to trailer over here. Okay. Got airbags. Alright. Let's see if we can even drive this thing. This is not going to be fun for me, guys. Here we go. Pretty good lined up. A little bit more. Oh, we got it. No. How about now? Nope. No, I didn't get it again. Do I need to line it up a little bit better? Maybe a little bit more like that. A little bit more. Got it hooked up. And now it's going to articulate on the ball and it's going to articulate down there at the other section where the wheels are at, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. It's not bad, guys. It's alright. I like it. We will probably have to upgrade. I don't know how much the 18 wheelers are actually worth. I know they're not cheap. It's a ton of money. But think for now I'm good like this I wasn't expecting to have to buy that dolly that's all right we'll upgrade we'll get us an 18 wheeler eventually we're gonna need an 18 wheeler for our tipper and we're gonna need an 18 wheeler for this guy here too for our wool production which road do we want to go down We wanted to go down the other road, but that's fine. We'll come over here. This will work for us. It's raining again, guys. Last few episodes, it's rained twice. This being the second time. And like I had said before, I haven't seen rain too much in the game. I've seen a lot of hail, but not rain. I guess we're in the rainy season, guys. My lights on? Turn your lights on, dude. What's wrong with you? I need a blue blue tractor for this, or a blue semi for this. I need to color match this guy up. Can we come this way? Come on, come on. What? Is it too low? It's too low, guys. You saw that? It hit. It hit bad. I think I probably need a, I need a semi to be able to make this a little higher, I guess shouldn't change the height like crazy but it might do just enough to make it work all right here's what we're gonna do we've got this guy we're gonna set him up right around right around here right on the edge of this field right like so let me look at the options here can we do anything at all there doesn't seem to be any options. So how would you load a car on here? This is supposed to be a... Hold on, let's look at the products. Low loaders. This trailer can transport other vehicles. How would you transport a vehicle here? If you can't get it up... Up on here. I see the ramps. These are the ramps, right? No? Are those the ramps? Those are the ramps down there, maybe? No. How would you transport a vehicle on here? That's a good question. I don't know how you do that. Get back in here. Ah, I see. There is options. Oh, I can make this thing a lot bigger. Look at this thing. It's crazy. I wonder if I can put pallets on there like that. I will if I can. What if I go like this way? Switch around. So we make it... Okay, we do that like that. What else can we do? There's got to be another option here, right? Detach. Exit vehicle change tool. 
change tool. There's nothing to change to. So, what does that do exactly? Yes, it makes it bigger. And we can put another vehicle there. I got that. But, how would you get the vehicle on is still my question. I'm still, I still don't know how to do that. So it's saying left click to change the length of it. Yes, we know this. We got to detach. Can attach there. Got our lights like always. Activate cruise control. I don't know, guys. It's kind of kind of weird. It's kind of I don't know. says you can transport vehicles but you don't expect a vehicle to jump over that back section do you all the way through there I have no freaking idea I know you guys know you farming simulator expert guys Let's see what we got here well, we'll come over here like this we'll bring this over I need to bring this up up I said straighten it out okay and then we will put that on there as far over as we can see we can't extend it we need something that has a, a telehandlers they extend out that way we don't have to go up on the other side all right well we have to get one of those. We're going to need one of those pretty bad. Are we underneath the pallet? Oh, man. See, we're underneath the pallet. This is terrible. This is bad. I don't think there's going to be a good way to do this. Got it. Can we... Fix this a little bit? And I turn just a little bit like so. Yeah. There you go. I think we can fit two pallets there. So two, four, six, eight, maybe eight or ten pallets in that section right there. And then another four back here. Alright, I'm going to do that in a little bit. Get that going. Let's make sure. What's, what's wrong with you, buddy? Why are your lights on? Why did you stop? Why don't you finish this section? See what I mean, guys? There's something going on here. Now, this guy stopped for, I don't think, for any reason. It's a little weird why he did that. But he stopped. And when my cultivator gets over here and stuff, those trees get in the way. They they, they run into it, and then I have to come in here and, and fix it. This guy stopped for no reason. I don't know why he did that. Very weird. Everybody ignore that. We'll just edit that out of the video. I never hit the tree. I have plenty of space to drive through it. Alright guys, don't worry about that. Park this guy. Can we park him? I think we're going to leave him for here for a second. That way we can unload this guy. See, we need us. We got this big tipper and it's working out great for us, but... Eventually, we're going to have to upgrade into a big semi. Alright, we got that. Let's come over here to this side. Get into this thing. Oh, man. Too far. Got to move forward a little bit. Alright, got that guy going. Alright, who else do we need? Do I need to give you some water? Look how easy this thing is do that can I refill and look I can do both at the same time if I hit I and R unload and refill it'll do it at the same time awesome we got that guy there hang out for a minute did I miss look at you you're still working 
You should turn your lights on. It's good. How about you? Go ahead and unload that, and then we will turn that on, and we're going to clean up a little bit. Do a little cleaning. It gets dirty quick, guys. I mean, it'll take nothing at all. At no time, and it gets dirty over here. Are you cleaning? We're at 0% cleanliness. There, it's on. Oh, that's the, that's the wrong thing that's on now. Are you good now? Tools. Down. Turned on. Clean it up, guys. Clean it up. There you go. What I'm talking about. It's a little hard to clean that very back end because we're so close to that water tank. I think that's enough though right there. Should be pretty good. Let's see where we're at. 70%. Give it a couple more passes. See if we can't clean this up. I need to get just a bit closer and bring it over to the right just a little bit. A little bit. There you go. A little bit more to the right. Alright, what do we got now? 80%. I'm good with it. Could be my magnificent water tower. I love it, guys. I love how easy it's become to do this now. I like it. Stage that there. Hey, y'all guys need some water? There you go. Hey, do I need to get refilled? There it is. Refilled up. I'm going to get that on there in a little while. I'm not going to bore you guys with that on cam. What's up, my chickens? Got more eggs for me? Remember, we're shooting for like 10,000, so y'all guys need to hurry up. 10,000 is going to take a long time to get, too. Wish we could buy some more chickens. That'd be great. I don't think you can buy more chickens on the game, though. I don't think that's a thing. You good? Awesome, buddy. Now, the one that's next is Field 14. So, I'm going to move you over to Field 14. You need to start working on that one. We'll get everybody else working, too. But, for today, guys... We accomplished a little bit, and I feel good about it. My water tower, our water tower, was the thing that was holding us back from the sheep. That's a good thing to know, too, because in the future, we're going to get into pigs and cows, and I'm sure they drink water, too, right? So, we know that we can do that kind of setup when we do the pigs and the cows. Our chickens don't need water. So we're good there. We got that guy going. We need to go ahead and bring you around. Uh, unload you, I guess. There's no reason to keep that little bit on there. Can we get you on there without? Yes. Let's go ahead and unload that. How are you doing, buddy? You done? Go ahead and fold back up. What about this section? You didn't finish nothing. This bigger equipment, guys, has been giving me a little bit of trouble. I'll tell you what, it's it's nice having this huge equipment. It is. But at the same time, it kind of... It kind of... It's kind of weird, you know? It, it does stuff like this. It just stops all of a sudden for some reason. One of the things I think that's going on, those trees on that side, they mess with it. He'll climb up here on this rocky section, no problem. But the trees, the trees mess with them, I think. And I'm not a farming simulator expert by any means. But we'll get into chopping them down in a little while, pretty soon. And we will figure this out. Where's my sewing machine at? We're going to bring you around and get you started too. Like I was saying, we did accomplish a little bit today, guys. I do feel good about it. We got our water tower it's awesome it's working out good for us what was that we 
we placed it in such a way where we can not move our trailer from where it is and we can unload and refill which is awesome wrong way right about there we'll hire that guy he's gonna start doing soybean that's what we want this guy we don't want to talk about you today but this is great right here I feel really good about this Let's see right there now we'll just get out with right there look at that that's awesome put you right there that's gonna be our screenshot thumbnail right there I like it this is a great improvement anyways guys thank you so much for hanging out with me hope you liked the video if you did hit that like button if you're new and you haven't subscribed yet make sure you subscribe guys more stuff like this on the way more on the series more farming simulator 17 we're just getting started guys and I'll see you guys on the next one later